Hi everyone, my name is Nick with Rayco Rents, and today we're going to be talking about dust track enclosures. The first thing we're going to talk about is what to expect when you order your dust track enclosure. And the second thing is, we're going to talk about the optional features that you might want when you're doing perimeter monitoring. So the first thing you're going to notice in any dust track enclosure is the Pelican case itself. Then, direct your attention to the dust track. Now, depending on the dust track that you order, you may or may not have an external pump. I'll show you later on in the video how to connect these. Then, dust track accessories, the 12 volt battery, and an omnidirectional inlet, along with a rig runner for power supplies. These are the basics that you'll find in any dust track enclosure. Now, onto the optionals. The first optional accessory is the auto zero inlet. Second is the heated inlet module, which comes st stock with a temperature humidity probe. You may also want a waterproof power cable. This is for when the dust track is plugged in to a main power line. And finally, we also might include the Theamis for remote data logging. Other optional accessories might include a weather station, solar panels, and strobe lights and alarms. We're not going to get into those today, but be aware of them when you're ordering your perimeter monitoring set. So the first thing that you're going to expect when you're creating a dust track enclosure is to have the dust track in this nice little slot here. Step one. Step two is the battery. Make sure that this battery is plugged in here, strapped down, so that it stays in place, and then plugged into the rig runner into the DC in port. Do not put it anywhere except the DC in port or you might blow out the rig runner. Next, depending on whether or not you have an external pump, you'll want to plug in the external pump. The external pump is situated here and should stay here at all times. This silver piece here is plugged into the bottom of the dust track, here, and then plugged in here. Be careful. You don't want this to be in shipping with any of this together, or it will break. The last piece of equipment is the omnidirectional inlet, which will be put on top, like so, and screwed in. This is both a weather, this is both a rain prevention device and a better sampling inlet. Now, this is the basic dust track enclosure. There might be an additional battery, but this is what you should expect. Once the battery is plugged into the rig runner, you want to plug this into the dust track and this here into the 25. Notice the dust track turns on. By having the rig runner, this will prevent the dust track from being damaged from too much electrical current. Now let's move on to some of the optional accessories. The first being the auto zero module. It is placed here on this inlet and plugged in here. The heated inlet is then placed on top of the auto zero module. And finally, the temperature and humidity probe is plugged in to the heated inlet. Be sure to plug in the heated inlet to the dust track, which will power it out. The last optional accessory that we'll show you today is the Theamus. This will be Velcroed here and plugged in here on the rig runner. Notice it turns on. It's a solid blue light. This means it's on and running. Now, occasionally, this will be too short. Be sure that this white adapter is plugged into the C outlet. Always remember to plug it into the C outlet. 
This one's a little short. It won't be able to connect directly to the dust track this way. So we have an extension. Plug it in to the dust track here. You have one dust track enclosure. Thanks for watching this video about dust track enclosures today, guys. For any help in the future, or you wanna place an order, feel free to call us at 866-736-8347, or for further training videos, feel free to check out our website, rakorents.com. Thank you very much, and have a great day.